Hey y'all, happy Saturday. I pray that all is well. I pray that you all have had a wonderful week. I know I have. Me and my little sis went, oh honey, we got uh, massages yesterday. We had a spa day. And I'm telling you, and then after the spa, we went and, and, you know, had something to eat and just had a good old time. I'm telling you, the word says that the enemy comes, but you know, but for to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus came that we may have life and life more abundantly. And I, I know for me, sometimes I forget that. I forget, you know, that it's okay to, to just let your hair down, relax, have fun, and enjoy yourself. Enjoy the life that you've been given. Because none of, we're not going to be here forever, y'all. Every last one of us, just like we got a birthday, baby, we got an expiration date. We don't know when it is, but we know that there is one. So I'm just determined to live my life to the fullest during this season of my life. Now that that's been said, let me share with y'all something that I got in my prayer time this morning. It could just be for me. I, I don't know, but if it helps you, then praise the Lord. But I'm going to share what I got during my prayer time this morning. Okay, it says, if you continue to abide, you will continue to rest. Those who abide in the secret place of the Most High will find rest under the shadow of the Almighty. That's Psalm 91.1. God has you wrapped in his arms. You are safe from the battle being waged against you as long as you continue to abide. See, a lot of times, y'all, we, we try to fight the battle ourselves. But as long as you abide in the secret place of the Most High, as long as you abide, what John 15, 16 says, I am the I am the vine, you are the branch. As long as you abide in me, you will bear much fruit. So it's something to be said about abiding. And so during the prayer time, the Lord showed me wrapped in, in, in the angel of the Lord's arms, right? And all of this turmoil and tumultuous things were just swirling around me. And you know how when your babies were little, you held them on your shoulder and they kind of had their, you know, you would cradle their heads like right here and kind of pet them. That's how I saw myself. I saw myself being cradled in the, in the arms of the, the most high being cradled and protected from the battle that the enemy thinks he's waging against me. And as long as I did not try to peek my head out and try to put my hands in it, I was safe. I was safe. So let that be a lesson to you. It, it may sound cliche because it's, it's been so overused over the years, y'all, but the battle really is not yours. It's the Lord's. And when you get in there trying to fight it yourself, baby, you will wear yourself out each and every time. You cannot win this. Look, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Right? So even though what's going on is, is happening in the natural, but we know what's behind it is spiritual. So abide, you know, it's, 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 you know, and I was in my prayer time, I'm like, oh, that seemed cowardly. God, you said you trained my hands for war and my fingers for battle. Now you better abide in the secret place. So, and then I read, you know, cause I like to, I don't like just one translation. Like I like to look at the different translations. So the Amplified says, he who dwells in the shelter of the most high will remain secure and rest in the shadow of the almighty whose power no enemy can withstand. Long as it's something about dwelling in that secret place, y'all. I'm telling you, the moment you step outside of him and try to fight this thing yourself, it's the moment you will have lost. 
You are safe in his arms. You are safe from the battle that is being waged against you. That's Psalm 55, 18. And then this is just something that I prayed out. I like to pray the word too. I wrote, you are so merciful to me, O Lord. In the shadow of your wings, I take refuge until these dangers have passed me by. This based on Psalm 57, 1. So y'all, I just want to remind you, baby, abide. Abide. I know it's human nature to want to put our hands in, st in stuff. It's human nature to want, you know, we, we try to figure things out on our own. We come up with our own battle plans. You know, the word says that we may plan our, our ways, but it's the Lord that orders our steps, right? So I'm this season, y'all, I'm going to do what the Lord say, and I'm going to abide. I'm going to abide. I'm going to let him cradle me in his arms and protect me from the battle that's being waged against me, the spiritual battle. I was driving in the car the other day and what came on my mind, the, you know, no weapon may form, no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper as I was driving and praying. And the Lord said, the weapon ain't going to even be able to form this time. It's not going to be, don't worry about it forming and not prospering. It's not going to even be able to form this time. Thank you, Lord. So looky here, y'all. Y'all have a wonderful Saturday. It is beautiful out there today. I'm still, y'all, that woman, I'm going to get on out of here real soon. That massage yesterday, that woman, it, it, it's like I was in a martial arts combat battle. The way that woman beat my back and she was punching my butt and 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 um, elbowing me. And, I, you know, I had to tell her to stop a couple times. And I don't like, you know, telling folks how to do their job, but ma'am, I'm in pain right now. But I'm going to tell you what, when I got up today, y'all, I feel, I'm, a, I'm still a little bit sore. But over the past few weeks, I had so much tension in my back and I was hurting and things. Baby, that little bit of pain yesterday made it worth it today. You hear me? I feel so much better. So I'm going to start adding um massages back to my self-care routines again anyways y'all god bless you have a wonderful day take care of yourself take care of your temple god bless you you are strong you are powerful you are unmovable unshakable always abounding in the works of the lord do not give up no matter what it looks like you will win if you hang in there and you abide in the Lord, you abide in the secret place of the Most High. God bless you.